Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Mike here, the other half of Mike and Angie Dot Diamonds outside of East Coast Box, and it's actually behind me, getting ready to go in here at nine thirty a.m. and kick some ass. All right, so uh, here we go. This morning, what in the world are you afraid of? Why are you so afraid? There are so many people out here afraid to do something, afraid to jump, afraid to to go out and talk to people. You're afraid to blitz. You're afraid to tell your family. You won't work your warm market because God forbid your family uh, call you crazy and call you stupid and say you don't know what you're doing. And, you know, they know who you are. They know what successes and failures you've had in your life. I mean, that's why a lot of times people won't go after their warm market. Folks, you got to go after your warm market. Here's why. Most importantly, it's great practice. You know, what in the crap do you care what they think? You know what? They're your family. They're supposed to know all about you and love you anyway. And if they don't, screw them. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. So work your warm market. If you've been in this business more than 24 hours, you should have already contacted every single aunt, uncle, sister, brother, mother, father, everybody that is there, you should contact them. You should say, you need to try these products. You need to do this crazy rap thing. You need to actually look at this opportunity. You need to get on board. You just need to jump is what you need to do. I remember I was... 17 years old, just graduated high school, went into the military, straight into the army. Why? Because it was 1981. The prime interest rate was at about 18%. Uh, you think the economy's bad now? It was bad, bad, bad in 1981. Um, I mean, people, when they were buying homes, now you think about it, the average interest rate they were paying on their mortgage to buy a house was about 18 to 21%. Today, if you're paying 4%, people are like, oh my God, 4%, I need to refinance. Listen, it was tough back then. My dad was a business owner. Sadly, they went bankrupt because my dad, like me as an entrepreneur, he's like, so what? I'll do it again. I'll just keep pushing forward. It's only money. We'll make more. So 1981, I graduated from high school. Yes, I'm an old dude. I get it. Look at the old beard. Anyway, so I graduated in 1981, and what I did was... To do my parents a favor, I joined the military. I did that because it was one less mouth to feed. You say, well, Mike, why don't you go to college? It cost a lot of money, and it was different back then. Getting loans and stuff is not the same as it was now. So I took off and went straight to the military. Went right into the 82nd Airborne Division, 1st of the 505th Infantry. So I get into the 82nd Airborne. Well, I take that back. I go to Airborne School. And I remember I'm sitting in Airborne School, and uh, you know, all my friends are like, you're going to jump out of a plane? Really? I mean, what if you die? I'm like, all right, well, what if... I mean, my problems are over. So maybe, I, I don't know, maybe I didn't understand, immor you know, or mortality back then. Maybe I didn't, immortality, I'm immortal. So maybe I didn't understand it back then. But the fact of the matter is, I remember the first time I went up in this um, C-130 aircraft. It's a four-prop uh, military aircraft. I remember going up in the aircraft and, um, you know, they, they basically just keep the doors open on it. And I'm sitting by a buddy of mine, Donald English, and he's pretty funny. He's like, Mike, if something happens to you, can I have the keys to your truck? So, um, you know, and then another guy tells me, you know, aren't you, aren't you scared? Aren't you worried? Because I, I wasn't, I can't say that I was scared. I was apprehensive. I was, you know, thinking everything was going to be okay. But see, you know, I believed in God and I still believe in God. And uh, I basically just said a prayer and thought, what's going to happen is going to happen. So I just prayed and uh, it was time to get up. We hooked up, static line operation. We exited the aircraft. When I walked towards that door and saw this hole, you know, with wind gushing by and I could see the earth way, way, way down below. And I only had two chances at living. One was on my back and one was on my front called a reserve. Two chances at living. If those two chances didn't work, then it was all over for me. I didn't worry about it. I knew what my goal was. My goal was I was become a, I was to become a paratrooper. The only way I could become a paratrooper was to exit that aircraft five times in the school to get my jump wings. I got to the door. You know what I did? I jumped without hesitation. Now, you might think, what does this have to do with network marketing and my It Works business? It has everything to do with it. Some of you won't jump. You're standing in the door. You're looking at the big wide world out there. You see everything that's before you, but there's risk. The risk is you might fail. The risk is you're worried about what people are going to say about you. You're worried about what your friends and family think. You're worried about what a stranger might think when you blitz them. You're worried that the rap may not work when you put it on somebody. You're worried that the products you recommend might not work. You have all this worry up in your head, and it's the one thing keeping you from success. That's it. It's the one thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I propose to you, 
I promise the worst that can happen to you is what? You're going to die? You're not jumping out of planes? You're not risking your life here, folks. You're risking your livelihood. You're risking your financial freedom. You're risking, you know, taking care of the ones you love better than maybe you currently are, if that's your situation. So just jump, you know, in the words of Van Halen, go ahead and jump today. Picture the door of an aircraft. I don't care if you've ever even been in a plane. Ladies and gentlemen, I've jumped out of planes over 500 times. I've never even been hurt. Why worry? Why worry? Did I want to die? I don't want to die. That's not the point. The point is if I do, so what? I know my maker. I'm good with that. All right? You just need to get over this fear and jump. Don't worry about the haters. Who cares? All right? Haters should just motivate your butt. What's the saying? I think Alicia told me the other day. You know, haters are our motivators. You need to be your own motivator. You don't have to have my personality. You can be very calm and laid back, but you need to get fired up. You need to get excited about this. Listen, it's a new economy, as my wife says. Hashtag new economy. It's a new day. It's pay for performance. Listen, now is the time more than ever before in history to get involved in network marketing. You need to get proud. You need to get loud. You need to get out every day and stand up for this business. And you know what? I don't care what it is. I don't care about people that are in Nerium or in, in Amway or whatever. But God bless them. I pray nothing but their success. You need to focus on what you're doing every day. It works is the greatest company. You know it is or you wouldn't be here. You know it is. So get fired up. Get to work. Get proud. Treat this thing just as it is. It's a billion dollar business, folks. All right? Billion dollar business. And you're part of it. You own it own it. All right. So go ahead and jump and I will see you on the beach. We will see you on the beach and at the top. We love you.